was born and grew up in Uganda. During my childhood and as I grew up, I saw people suffer from malaria. I saw people die from malaria. I had malaria myself at least a dozen times. I've missed school because of malaria. So I have seen what malaria can do. My name is Alan Huere. I'm the Director of Operations on the Africa IRS Project, implemented by ACT Associates. AIRS is active in 15 countries in Africa. These are high malaria burden countries. In 13 of the countries, we're carrying out the traditional spray program, but also doing entomological monitoring activities. But in two of the countries, we are only doing entomological monitoring activities. And all these activities are supposed to help us achieve the, the big goal of preventing malaria from killing people in Africa. Since 2011, the AIRS project has protected more than 14 million people in Africa from malaria. This includes more than 200,000 pregnant women and more than 1.2 million children under five years of age. The AIRS project has been able to spray more than 97% of the homes in the areas targeted for the project. One of the reasons why we have been able to achieve such a high number is because the community and the members of the households have seen the impact of the spraying and have opened their doors to ask operators to go in and treat the walls in their houses. In all the countries where AIRS is operating, we are working very closely with ministries of health, with district authorities, with research institutions, with universities, and with community leaders and members to train them to increase their ability to carry forward the activities we're doing even after the project comes to an end. I think APT is best known for its work in indoor residual spraying, but really APT is working in all of the other pillars of malaria control, from case management to working with pregnant women, particularly with a focus on intermittent preventive treatment for pregnant women to prevent malaria, and also in supporting long-lasting insecticide-treated net campaigns. So one country where we're doing something that I think is really important in expanding access to treatment for malaria is Ethiopia. And we're working very closely with the private sector more broadly, not just in malaria. In malaria in Ethiopia, we've been training private sector providers on case management and treatment for malaria. I think what really differentiates APT's work in malaria prevention and control is its focus on health system strengthening. And, and that is something that we bring to all of our work and malaria is no exception. One thing to remember about malaria is that it's an entirely preventable and treatable disease and we have tools to prevent and treat malaria right now.